I remember once when I was a kid, I was like, I can't remember exactly how old I was. I was like seven or eight, something like that. And I was in my room listening to a song by, uh, by PJ and Duncan called Let's Get Ready to Rumble, right? Which is my most favorite song in the entire world. If you're dead young, you might just think that Ant and Death were just like TV presenters and occasionally alcoholics. But when I was young, <laughs> when I was young, they were pop stars. And Let's Get Ready to Rumble, that was my fucking jam. That was my jam. That was my marmalades, my marmites, whatever you want to call it. That was why I fucking loved it so much. And I was... I had an on full blast because I used to I used to sing to it and make up little dances because I had no mates and that's just what you do. So and I was having a great time. And then from downstairs I heard my mum shout up, Adam! Turn that shit down. I thought, shit. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I think you'll find that that's the greatest song ever made. <laughs> so I went over to my door. Opened my door and shouted back down the stairs. Oh, what? <laughs> she shouted back up the stairs to her like seven or eight year old son. Hey! I'll come up there and fist you in a minute! <laughs> right. Now, right, now I'm, I'm sure to her generation, right? That just means I'll punch you in the face with my fist, fair enough. But to my generation, which grew up with very uncensored access to internet pornography, that means something a lot more disturbing, doesn't it? And then she said, wait till your dad gets home. I thought, fucking hell, what's he gonna do? She said, he'll give you the smack. I said, thank fuck for that. What's going on up here? I mean, to be fair to her, it worked. I've not listened to that song since. <laughs> Can't even watch Out and Death without getting a tingle in me ring. That's how deep the <laughs> psychological scars run. Um, 